Hi, Drew again here, and I'm going to walk you through how to switch between your fleet's backend and what we call the fleet's cloud. And then there is also a way to switch between uh, your personal cloud and fleet cloud. And I'm gonna explain kind of why you or your users might even want to do that. So you can see I'm logged into my fleet's backend uh, as an administrator. And if I go to the upper right, you see I have an option to switch to the cloud, Astroprint Cloud. So I'm gonna click that. And that brings me to the front end, which you should be familiar with. Obviously it's where your users are you know, putting designs in the design library, they're adding files to the print queuing and so on and so forth. Uh, now you, you know that you're in the fleet system here because this banner is blue. And then the logo for your organization should be in the upper left. Now you and your users automatically have a personal account as well. If you have a fleet account, you have a personal account. And you could come right up here in the upper right and switch to personal. When you're in the personal account, the, the bar at the top is black. Obviously there's no logo for your organization either. Now you or your users may wanna use a personal account to as a place to have your own files in, uh, slicing of those files, creating print plates, uh, that are not on the actual fleet system. Like maybe, again, just for your personal workspace. Uh, or perhaps you have your own 3D printers. They have their own 3D printers at home that are not part of the fleet and they want to use the system to manage those. So they, so they might come here and do that. Now then to get back to the fleet account for your organization, they'll have to come into the upper right and quick, uh, click uh, switch to fleet. Again, you can see it's blue. I'm back to the fleet with all the files associated with the fleet and printers associated with the fleet. And then to go, if you're the administrator and you wanna go back to the back end, you can either click fleet management, uh, the, the app icon, or come to the upper right and click fleet management to come back. All right, I hope that helps.